When it comes to educational book series, one that a lot have a nostalgic memory of is Eyewitness, published by Dorlin Kindersley. While certainly not the only educational books to come out of DK, Eyewitness has become iconic, and it even branched out into other media. The first book was published in 1988, and since then they've tackled a wide variety of topics, from nature to science to sports to history to even religion. But what has made these books so attention-grabbing? A large reason comes from how the information is set up. The information is presented cleanly on each page with the appropriate image next to it and with a ton of facts. It's all extremely easy to digest, which makes them perfect educational tools for children who want to learn about the subjects. Here's the book on animals, for example. It goes from explaining the different types of animals to showing their environments to how they survive. There's even a page on record-breaking animals and another depicting a family tree of how they're all connected. All the eyewitness books also have a glossary with definitions of several terms related to the topics. For another example on how the books are structured, here's the one for sports. Each sports category gets a few pages, and they manage to pack a lot onto those pages, and it's easy to find and jump to whichever page you're interested in. Let's say you're curious about rugby. Just go to page 14, and there you go. Now I know what a scrum is and what a try means. In addition to the main books, there are also the eyewitness companions, which have a lot more pages, and the format is more encyclopedic. Here is the film I win this companion, which goes over the history of cinema, different genres and techniques, films from around the world, and specific directors, along with a list of essential and influential movie classics. While the companions are certainly larger and more packed than the main books, they're still extremely easy to navigate and to find what you want. Eyewitness also publishes travel guides for a wide variety of places, from countries to specific cities to even the top 10 most interesting places to visit. The success of the books led Dorling Kindersley to partner with the BBC on a television series also titled Eyewitness, which began airing in 1994. The team behind the show incorporated museum setting, with the audience being taken through multiple exhibits related to the episode topic. This is introduced with a brilliant opening sequence set to a fantastic theme song. The computer effects hold up remarkably well, and the creators were able to effectively mix the CG images of archival footage and scenes filmed in front of a white background. And for the scenes where they show real animals, the crew actually brought animals into the studio, even potentially dangerous ones like tigers. They would utilize other techniques too. The dinosaur episode features a cute stop-motion Tyrannosaurus Rex who occasionally pops up. The credits for the episode even lists Sam Fell as an animator, who I believe is the same artist who would later go on to co-direct Flushed Away and Paranorman. The original UK version of the series was narrated by Andrew Sachs, who is most known for playing the Spanish waiter Manuel in Faulty Towers. When the show was brought to North America, Martin Sheen provided the narration. You can watch both versions on YouTube, and I think both narrators succeeded in conveying the necessary information. Every episode seamlessly transitions through almost all the aspects of the topic. It's not merely a dry reading of the facts, but instead provides a variety of carefully curated explorations and how a certain subject connects to history, science, and mythology. The episode about planets, for instance, is not just looking at each planet in the solar system. It goes into how human beings first learned about the planets, the impact they have, and how different civilizations were fascinated by them. There's even a portion that mentions Orson Welles' famous War of the Worlds radio broadcast. The dinosaur episode talks about why people are fascinated with the prehistoric beasts, the role of the paleontologists, and a part where dinosaurs are compared to modern machinery. The weather episode is another excellent one, showing the various types of weather with the impact on people, while cleverly using a weather vane as a visual symbol to represent them. The creators of the series wanted to replicate the feel of going through the Eyewitness books, and it's a goal they managed to accomplish extremely well. Another area the Eyewitness series excelled in were in the educational CD-ROMs. These allow them to pack as much information as possible onto the discs, and came with all sorts of fun ways to learn about the various subjects. Some of them would plop you into a space where you could click on all sorts of buttons, which would provide text, charts, video clips, and other neat things. Eventually, the Eyewitness CD-ROMs incorporate the aesthetics of the television series, and always made for an exciting time when you put the disc into the computer and that intro with the aforementioned theme song started playing. This allowed you the opportunity to actually explore that virtual museum of all its incredible rooms. Virtual Reality Bird is the one I was most familiar with, with it allowing me to read up on any bird and watch short video clips about the subject. They even added bird sound effects when you walk through the museum, just to make it extra bit immersive. While I did go to museums as a child, these eyewitness CD-ROMs provided the next best thing, and the developers clearly put in a lot of work to give it the feeling of going to those places. They certainly helped a lot with the occasional homework assignment or school project. Well, those and the educational CD-ROMs created by Microsoft, like the Encarta series. Remember them? It's a credit to eyewitness that never felt like a chore to go through these CD-ROMs and learn things. 
looking back at the books and CD-ROMs and television series from Eyewitness, it feels like going back to a time before Wikipedia and YouTube, when all this information was readily available and easily found on the World Wide Web. There was a period when you had to get one of these educational discs or visit your local library or bookshop in order to learn things and complete that school project. Or you just want to look at this information for fun. The Eyewitness books are still in print, with new ones being published as they remain an integral part of Dorling Kindersley and their mission statement to provide fun educational material to children. Whatever subject interests you, you are sure to find plenty of facts and interesting information in their books, along with the television show and the educational CD-ROMs. If you no longer have the ability to play the older discs on your computer, people are uploading playthroughs of them on YouTube. Do you have any memories of Dorling Kindersley's Eyewitness series? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you next time.